Now we'll look at adjusting levels in Aperture 2 and not much has changed within the levels adjustment layer except some real subtle things here. The first step is opening up the levels adjustment layer so you can see what's going on here. The next thing I do is actually put a check in levels so to turn on the levels adjustment. It's nice because then you can see a histogram here and here. So the histogram here in your levels is not going to change so that's kind of your baseline the changes you'll see will be up here in the histogram up at the top. So turn that on. Of course you've got options for working with all your channels separately. If you're working with individual channels, the odds are that you're going to be changing the color of your image or the, changing the hue of the image. So if you came in and worked on just the red or the green or the blue, then you're going to be changing things around a little bit. RGB or luminance, things are going to stay the same because you're basically working on all the channels at the same, either just the luminance portion of the, the image or the combined red, green, and blue channels. So let's just work on luminance here. So I chose to shoot this to maximize the flexibility I would have. So it was hard for me to shoot this any other way without getting um, some overexposure and actually bringing in highlights and whatnot. So um, I settled for this kind of middle ground. And so the first thing I'm going to do is actually bring in my black point. And we're going to see an improvement right away with this. And I'm going to bring the black point here in the levels right to the edge of the histogram. And notice, so it's not changing down here in the levels, it's changing up there in my histogram up at the top in my adjustments layer. So it looks like I want to bring this right to the point before it starts crushing all my values. Okay, I don't want to overly compress this or overly adjust these images. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the white point. Bring it down just a little bit. Notice what happens if you overdo it. You start to get posterization and you're getting blown out areas. And this may be a cool look. You may be going for something like this. But for this, I kind of want to keep a real natural look and just create the appropriate exposure for this image. So I'm going to bring this up to right at the edge of the histogram. So that's actually looking good. And now I have my quarter tones turned on here. This button up here in the upper right will turn on your quarter tone controls. The next step would be adjusting the midpoint here. So adjusting the gray areas. right? Again, if you take this too far, you can see what starts to happen. Sometimes this can be a cool creative effect, but if you're going for kind of a, a real looking photo and not something that's hyper creative, then uh, be forewarned. This is a raw file, so I've got a good bit of flexibility when it comes to adjusting it. So this is more along the lines of what I'm looking for here. Okay, So all I've done is, do is done a basic levels adjustment here. And here's before and here's after. I can just uncheck this and see before and after. Of course, you could tap the M key as well and see before and after your master image. Okay, so this is actually, um, it's looking pretty good. This is intentionally kind of an abstract image. It's a, a close-up of the eye of uh, one of the dolphin statues where I live. Um, let's look at some of our other options. So um, those are your basic controls for working with levels and feel free to use this as a creative tool or um, for fixing individual images. Um, we do have control over these quarter tones separately and so we could come in here and adjust this to get a little richer image. And these quarter tones we can actually program. So right now they are a quarter of the way through our image. If I hold down the option key when I drag this, notice what happens. I'll bring this back to kind of the midpoint here. Hold down the option key while I drag this and then I can target which portion of the histogram I'm working on. So let's look at one more example of adjusting levels here and uh, we're going to work with this photo of Leroy. And uh, we've basically got a black dog on a white or light gray background with some white paws. So if we come down to levels and turn on our levels adjustment layer we can see the histogram here as well and um, let's actually do a basic adjustment let's define our black here bring it in just slightly and define our white so we've got a good exposure on this particular image our quarter tones we want turned on because what we're gonna do is work with the two primary segments here of the photo of Leroy okay so this quarter tone is actually sitting right where I want it right above this particular hump so notice what I can do here so this, you can see the portion of the image I'm working on. So this represents the background, the light colored portions of this image. So I've got a couple options here. I can drag it to the right 
and that's going to make it more gray. And I can drag this bottom section to the left to make it more white. And we're limited with the reach of this by the surrounding, the levels adjustments here. So I can't bring this beyond that, for example. So I just want to bring this down. I want to bring it up a little bit. So I want this to be a little bit whiter. And this one, so if I start adjusting it here, notice I'm affecting not only Leroy, but uh, this area in the background here and that sort of thing. So what I want to do is isolate Leroy. Hold down the Option key, grab this, drag it to the left, and then I'm working with just Leroy here. And so when I'm doing adjustments, so notice how I've isolated what I'm working with. So I could blacken Leroy by dragging it to the right, or I could lighten him up by dragging this to the left. So what I want to do is I want to lighten him just slightly. There he is. So the M key is our master image. So we've added a little bit of contrast by doing this. There's our original, there's where we're ending up. So Leroy's just popping a little bit. He's separated a little bit further from the background. We're kind of spreading apart the levels and making them more distinct. So that's actually looking pretty good. So lots of creative options here with levels.